morning. Susan, where's my tea? I need a tea, man. I can't believe we're here. Thanks, babes. I can't believe we're here doing another bloody 2020 recap. Bill said we've got to do it all month. Where's Sandra? Sandra not into that. So, who's going to do my hair? Who are you? Can you cut black people's hair? No! Nah, nah, nah. I'm not going on set. I'm not going on set. You need to go and get Sandra because my hair needs to go. Got a spot on my face! Where's Sandra? Sandra's going to need to sort this spot out, man. I'm fuming. We did 10 hours last week doing that January bloody recap. But I'm just letting you know from now before I get into the studio that you better use the same intro that we used for last week because I'm doing minimal work today. Because. What is this? Hello! You're watching NNN or New Nintendo News. Um, mm, 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 mm. This is a weekly gaming show where we keep you, yes, you, up to date with the latest, yes, the latest Nintendo gaming news. <laughs> On today's show, we'll be taking a look at Nintendo's past. Yes, 2020 has been and gone, but we are here today to reflect back on it and see what Nintendo did with 12 months of the time. Because I'll tell you one thing, I'll tell you one thing, last year was dry. I, I'm, not, I'm not down for it again. We can't even get through the whole year this week. Bill said we've got to do it for the rest of the month. Fuming. Moving on to February, and uh, Nintendo started the month with a bang! Yes, they unveiled this bad boy! Oh my god, look at this. Animal Crossing Limited Edition Switch. Nintendo haven't really dabbled with limited edition consoles massively. They need to be doing more of these. They need to be taking our money. Why are Nintendo not doing... Hello, Bill? There are more limited edition consoles. Well, I'm doing a segment here on limited edition Animal Crossing Nintendo Switch. You want to talk about Fortnite consoles? Who wants to buy a limited edition Fortnite console anyway? Come at me ears, man. Platinum Games also teased the wonderful 101 in February. Team, unite up! I actually really liked Wonderful 101 when it launched originally on the Wii U. I mean, who doesn't love Platinum Games? Games. But then Platinum Games launched the game through Kickstarter, tried to beg money to make the game. Beggy beggy. I'm pretty sure, can we not all be honest, that Platinum Games has more than enough money to fund the Wonderful One by itself. They own Bayonetta. Where is Bayonetta? About the making Wonderful 101, they need to hurry up and bring Bayonetta 3 out. Moving on! In February we... I've just slowly gone down. I've just slowly gone down in the chair. Bill, mm. we need a new chair. How was I just down there a minute ago? Also in February, Nintendo finally announced more virtual console games! Yes! Oh my days! What are Nintendo doing with the virtual console? When the Switch came out, I thought, that right, okay, here it is. Nintendo's just gonna go all in, give us a virtual console, Netflix style service, and they're gonna do it properly. <coughs> She's a little bot. Susan. They're doing the weird drip feed of games again. Uh, I just don't understand it. I just don't understand it. February also gave us what could be the last gaming convention in history. Well, not the last gaming convention, but the last mass gathering in public. Uh, yes, uh, PAX East had their event on, what's the date? 27th of February, and it finished on the 1st of March, just before Corona's crept in. And we also got a look at the latest Animal Crossing in an Animal Crossing Direct, but we didn't know what else was coming. Where were the games, Nintendo? Um, where's the communication? Where is... What's happening? And games that released in February, it looks like we had Devil May Cry 3. We had Darksiders and Mega Man Zero. Dry, dry month again, dry month again. So I just said to him, Bill, why are we recapping 2020 again? We did it last week. So moving on to the next one. I won't even mind, but every time I go on screen, my bloody suit changes colour, man. 
Yes, we have the month of March. Yes, this is the month where Corona started to creep into the UK. It was not nice. And, and who's dressing room am I in? Because they ate my dresses. Um, so yeah, what did we get? So this was the month of Animal Crossing, the hypes, obviously the fever pitch. And um, but a weird thing started going on this month, which is it's something I really loved. I got in fact. I, I love this, I love this. Animal Crossing was launching on March 20th on the Switch, which was a cuddly, cutesy, lovely Nintendo game. And then you also had Doom Eternal! Which was about killing the demons and slaying and the internet took this fact and just ran away with it and then everyone just started like doing Animal Crossing Doom crossovers. It was so cute. You then started to see the official Doom Twitter account getting in on this whole hype of Isabel and Doom guy merging together. I thought was really cool and I loved how the um you know the two gaming communities really embraced each other It was sick, it was sick, it was sick. That was a nice little thing that happened in March. <laughs> Moving on, we also had an update to Mario Kart. Yes, not Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Nintendo are never going to update that game again. I mean, do you know what? To be honest, I've been playing Mario Kart 8 from since the Wii U. The game's about seven years old to me now. I'm bored of it. Nintendo should have added some DLC to that a long time ago because the game's just so ancient. I mean, why are people still buying Mario Kart? Anyway, the Mario Kart I'm talking about is Mario Kart Tour! Yes! Nintendo's mobile version of Mario Kart. Is anybody actually even playing this? Do you know when Nintendo announced it? I was actually pretty happy. Do you know when Nintendo announced it, I was actually pretty hyped because I thought, do you know what, they're going into the mobile business because they need a bit of money because they've rinsed it from the Wii U. I thought, you know, Mario Kart on your phone, it's going to be great, it's going to be banging, Mario Kart on me all the time. And then it came out and it was dry, I hate the control system. Um, you couldn't play multiplayer, that's the whole point of playing Mario Kart, you can't play multiplayer. I just didn't vibe to it, so I've not personally bashed a lot of this game. But, you know, in March, Nintendo did add multiplayer finally. But I mean realistically, Nintendo needs to stop with this mobile phone business now. And um, we all know that Nintendo 
created a third pillar again to support Nintendo's business. We all know that you wanted the mobile business because you were broke. Um, but I mean, Nintendo's been making. I mean, let's look at some. Nintendo, you need to stop wasting time on this business. Nintendo's mobile business is kind of booming, but it's also dead. Uh, Nintendo's mobile games have generated more than 1 billion in lifetime revenue from global player spending on the App Store and Google Play Store. I hate microtransactions. Nintendo's mobile repertoire, uh, which comprises of six games, is also a mass combined. 452 million downloads worldwide. Considering that six of Nintendo's franchises and two of those are Animal Crossing and Mario Kart. I and Mario! Oh my days! Them numbers should be way higher! And Anyway, the majority is 656 million dollars or 61% for the math book of Nintendo's mobile revenue has come from strategy RPG Fire Emblem Heroes. Nintendo's throwing out all these games out there, you know, you put your flagship title out there, Mario Run, but you put that behind the paywall, you kind of mashed that up, Nintendo. So you didn't get as many sales from Mario as you should have done. We were all waiting for Mario Kart. I mean, you kind of watched that with the gameplay and some of the features, but again, it's free, your heart was in the right place. And then you also had Animal Crossing, which again, sounds perfect for mobile, but again, I, I didn't really like the Animal Crossing Pocket Camp mobile game, to be honest. Did anybody else like it? Obviously not, because people are only playing Fire Emblem Heroes, which is a massive shock. It's not really a massive shock, because obviously Fire Emblem is a massive, massive, massive franchise. Boom, 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 boom. But the other, all the other games are practically doing nothing. Dr. Mario World isn't making any money, as you can see. Uh, Super Mario Run, doing slightly better, but again... I mean, this was Mario. I originally thought it was going to reach a billion downloads, to be fair. Dragalia Lost, which is, I mean... And Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, and then you can just see that Fire Emblem has just surged up and it's just doing gangbusters. I mean, yeah, Nintendo's mobile division, not on the head now, Nintendo. So, yeah. Nintendo Mobile. Stop it, Nintendo, it's fine. You don't need to do it anymore. We also got a surprise! Yes, Lego Mario got announced! Who saw that coming? I didn't! I mean, we're at the beginning of the year, so also don't forget what you need to remember is that there were rumours of a Mario anniversary happening. This was the year of Mario, after all, Mario turned 35 this year. Happy birthday to you! Uh, so yeah, Nintendo dropped a, well, the Lego dropped a crazy trailer. It wasn't that crazy, it was just a little sneak peek of a little Mario figurine. It looked really cute, everyone was excited. Lego Mario time! I'm waiting for my Lego Mario man, where you at Mario? 8 early in the morning. Oh, it's not. It's not my package. <laughs> you know, obviously Nintendo doing what Nintendo do. You, they don't ever just do anything simple, do they? They didn't just want to make Mario Lego, they had to make some sick next experience. And so that was cool, we didn't know much about it then, but I was intrigued, I was happy. So Lego Mario, now in hindsight, kind of seems like the start of Mario's birthday, his celebrations. However, because Corona is here, I feel like this is the beginning of where Nintendo's messaging and marketing and communication kind of mashed up. Some of it was going on behind the scenes in Nintendo and they weren't telling us. How would the year have panned out if Corona didn't affect anybody's schedule? I'm sure that at E3, in fact I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> no I'm not because this was the month where E3 was cancelled. Yes, E3 has been cancelled. Oh my days. Absolute blow to the gaming industry. Well, it's not really because E3 started to fall apart for the longest time. Every single developer, console manufacturer has now just decided to do their own thing. Now they're all following Nintendo. Everybody's got their own state of play or Xbox Series X digital conferences. Nintendo was always the first to say that was the best way to do it, and everybody laughed at them. You know, Nintendo did it first. 
Today, we'd like to deliver directly to you updates on games that we will be showing at E3 2013, which starts in Los Angeles in just a few hours. We are broadcasting this Nintendo Direct simultaneously around the world, so thank you for joining us today. Nintendo did it first. But yeah, anyway, um, no industry events coming on, no gaming conventions, they were all locked off because of Corona! But it's March though, we were all kind of itching for some Mario news, so we're still hoping for some form of Nintendo Direct. After Animal Crossing comes out, we're not really sure what games we're getting next, so Nintendo should be dropping a Nintendo Direct sometime soon. That's what everybody was thinking. It didn't happen. So yeah, Animal Crossing came out on March the 20th and it just absolutely blew up me. Animal Crossing just absolutely destroyed everybody's expectations. Smashing the numbers. Uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf sold 12 million copies in its entire lifetime on the DS. And Animal Crossing New Horizons shipped 12 million units in six weeks. So... Win-win for everyone. Well done, Nintendo. So yeah, that's the month of March. And it looks like in March, the games that we had releasing were... Just Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing. The only game we had. Dry. A dry month again. Animal Crossing saved it. But it's a dry month again. First season. Right, Susan. Susan King going to get my trousers ready because I've not even got them on yet. 